Hey, welcome to 5 Minute Friday, a new thing I'm starting this year on my channel where almost every Friday I will break down a simple, effective cinematic lighting setup or just in general how to make things look more uh, cinematic, Hollywood, professional, whatever you want to call it, and um, just things I'm doing that help me get a good image and that are super simple setups and you can do alone or with one extra person and uh, they're very effective in, in creating a really good looking image. Also, sorry that I'm holding uh, the H6 in here. I was gonna do a boom mic, but my apartment is so echoey, I'm tired of dealing with it. So for right now, we're just gonna do this so the audio is nice and crispy for you guys. So our first five minute Friday is gonna be how to fake a sunrise or a sunset um, in your scene. So basically we're just gonna need one light for this and uh, some blinds or something to create some texture, some beams, some patterns, uh, stuff like that. You don't have to do that. You can just do pure fake sunlight if that's what you wanna do. So I was going for like an early morning sunrise coffee scene um, where I make a cappuccino and there's uh, some, some sun rays coming in. And I just wanted to do a single source light here, uh, but I actually filmed it at like 11.30, so it was nowhere near actual uh, sunrise or sunset. I was gonna just put my Amaran 200X, I think it is, on like 3200 Kelvin and do some warm lighting like that, but I couldn't flag off the whole window. So it would have mixed with the 3200 Kelvin light on the Amaran and it wouldn't have worked. So I set the Amaran to match the actual daylight that was coming through the window from good old mother nature. And I set my camera white balance to like 6,000, 6,500, somewhere in there. That would make that daylight balance light coming in look warm and then it would feel like a sunrise. Hey guys, quick break, talk about today's sponsor, Cuts Clothing, and the fact that I am an official partner with them for this year. You're gonna see them a lot more around on this channel. Uh, they're gonna be sponsoring a lot more videos, and I'm actually wearing their shirt right now. Uh, this is my favorite shirt. It's the fitted, trimmed, drop cut, and this is my favorite color. And I love this shirt. I love their clothes. I'm trying all their clothes out right now, and it's super fun and exciting. And I'm not just saying that because they're sponsoring my videos. I genuinely like this brand. I think they have a lot to offer uh, for me and for you guys as my viewers. My goal is to only partner with brands that I believe in and I think are doing great things for people and making great products. And after talking a lot with the guys over at Cuts, I believe that they are doing that well. And I'm super pumped to be a partner with them and to work with them and uh, to grow with them. So if you want in on these comfortable, good looking shirts, use my link, it helps me out a lot. And use my discount code to help yourself out, Daniel W. Cunningham. I'll put it right here and my link right here, also all in the description. And uh, yeah, get you some Cuts clothing and try it out. And let me know in the comments what you think of it. But that's enough for now. Let's get back to 5 Minute Friday and learn how to fake a sunrise. So as far as placing the light source, I did my Amaran 200X. If you don't have a bicolor light, don't worry. On Amazon or B&H, you can get really cheap gels to make your light look warm, cold, green, colors, whatever you want. So I took the Amaran, put it on a light stand, leaned it into the window, and put it behind my blinds to give some pattern, some shadow pattern, like the sun was coming through uh, you know, the window and some blinds. I used no cone or diffusion on it. I wanted it to be hard light coming through, like it's the sun. So I just leaned it back in there. Uh, I took some gaff tape because it kept falling over and I wanted it at a certain angle. Um, threw the blinds over it, and then that was basically it. To finish off the shot though, I went ahead and hazed. Always haze, please, always haze your scene. If you wanna make it look cinematic or dramatic, haze is your best friend. So threw a bunch of haze in the air, uh, took a quick break at that time to make myself a little bit of lunch, enjoyed that. And after I was done doing that, I took my red Komodo and threw a ProMist filter on it just to soften everything up even more. And then I grabbed my wife to hold the camera and be a human tripod. And I pulled a shot, made a great cappuccino or a couple and sat there and drank it and looked like a peaceful early morning coffee I was having. So that is it for this five minute Friday. I hope I got it in under five minutes. That was a pretty simple setup, simple concept, but if you're not using single source lights through windows and behind blinds to mimic sunlight coming through, you are doing it all wrong. Do not rely on the actual sun. This is super effective. It looks great every single time. I do this like on every shoot almost if it's uh, during the 
daytime. And you can shoot it at night and you don't have to worry about the actual sun moving. So um, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this five minute Friday and you learned something. If you did, please like this video. And uh, I hope this, this helps you on your, your next project. Um, all right guys, I'll see you in the next one.